Hi, everybody, and I'm going to say welcome to episode 17 and a half. This is going to be a sock bunny recap, a goodie explosion. So today is Thursday. It is February 11th. I went to the sock bunny retreat last week, um, and I kind of wanted just to do a recap and to share my goodies. To Also, I want to kind of fair warn y'all. This is not a regular episode by any means. There's really, except for showing you yarn, there is no knitting content whatsoever. But I have found that a lot of people ask questions about different retreats. Every retreat has a different vibe. It has a different feel based on the people there, based on the people running it. And I kind of wanted to just share my experience of the Sock Bunny retreat. So this is not a normal episode. I want to say that repeatedly, not a normal episode, because I'm not going to tell you jack squat about, you know, normal things. But I do want to share what I got, and I wanted to talk about the retreat itself. Um, I go to several different retreats. They're all different. So we should preface this by saying that this one is different on its own, but I love it. So the idea of the sock bunny retreat is casual, laid back, and just having fun together. It all happens in a hotel. Um, we get our own rooms. You are on your own for meals. Mm, excuse me. Sorry. I just hopped up. Um, so you're on your own for all of those things. But as a group, what tends to happen is we're like, hey, I'm getting ready to go to lunch. You want to go with me? Where are you going? I'm going here. Or we're going there. Or we're ordering here. And people kind of hop into different groups. It's also very, very small. This year was the biggest year. This is the third year they've done it. And this was the biggest year with 20 people there. Or maybe 19. 19 or 20 of us. I could probably name them all off, but we don't need to do that. So a lot of the retreat happens in a conference room in the hotel. It's a holiday inn. We have tables set up as a giant... I'm like talking down here. Sorry. We have tables as a giant square and we all just sit around and just chat and visit and get to know each other. And we'll walk around and be like, Hey, I'm getting ready to cast on the sock. Well, how do you cast on your sock? Or last year we got a demo from one of the ladies there. Um, she showed everybody how she does her German twisted cast on this year. I learned how to do toe up, um, like Judy's magic cast on except for my back stitches aren't twisted. So it was really kind of cool. So I'm going to kind of walk you through my day a little bit there, and I'm going to show you my goodies. I'm going to start with the goodie bag that Kimberly gave us. How adorable is this little bag? Well, it's actually a pretty pretty good size bag. I mean, really. It's, it's a good size bag. How adorable is that? Are those not... For those of you who don't know, Kimberly's mascot is John John, and that's her bunny. So I love the fact that she dated these two, and they're the iron-on, but it's wonderful. It's dated. So that came in, and then I'm going to start filling this up as I show you. The other really exciting thing for me is I got a coloring book. She gave all of us the Mason Dixon coloring book. I might have started already even because she thought ahead and was like on the ball with this. So she gave us a coloring book and then she gave us color pencils to go with it and a pencil sharpener. Like it was all together. So there might have been some coloring happening at the retreat as well as knitting, chatting, visiting, you know, so, yeah, it might have happened. We also ended up with new Tervises, Tervi, as I've heard they're called, with the Florida scene. And this is, um, let me see if I can, this is the 16 ounce. I have 24 ounces. Both of my other ones are 24 ounce, but she gave everybody 16 ounce, and I, I really was thrilled with this. It's a good, good size. And I have just one in here, but we all had straws, so you could pick a straw up to go with your Tervis. Um, Knit Picks donated a needle measurer and it has a measuring tape basically on it. 
I don't actually have one of Knit Picks. I have several versions, but I don't have a Knit Picks one. So that was nice. Rainstorm Studios did a zipper pull. And I, you know, happen to like my bling. How amazingly wonderful is that? It's so beautiful. Um, Beads did. Bead Sisters. Beautiful lady. Kay and Lori were phenomenal. And check out these little guys. It's, oh, my, my. Okay. So, it's got yarn. It's got three carrots. And then it's got a bunny. Let's see if I can get my bunny to hang on. Can you see my bunny? How adorable is that? Along with a little mini skein. I was so excited. Cheap thrill in my world. Highlighter tape. I haven't really used a lot of highlighter tape, but I think I might have to give it a good whirl. Snarky Llama had a little stitch marker in there. Let's see. With little llamas on it. To me, they actually look like alpacas, but they're probably llamas because it's Snarky Llama. And then... Check out these little guys. How awesome is that? Look at all those little post-its. I could post everything. Very excited about post-its. I donated a little zipper pull myself. Well, a fairly big zipper pull. It's got some yarn in there. These were in assorted colors. Myself and Mad Hatter Idea. We went in together and we did those. And then there was a couple of... um gift tags, not gift tags, coupon codes, which I don't really want to hold up because, you know, those are supposed to be for retreaters, but those came as well. And then a biggie, which came from Gilding Lilies, and she had this little card here that has her YouTube channel information on it, um, but she donated, okay, so it's got a little, it's a plastic bowl, but a really fancy pants plastic bowl. Can y'all see that? And then it has a teeny tiny, a 0.9 millimeter, 13 slash 14 US crochet hook. I'm trying to see, does it actually have a hook? Oh, there it is. It does. It's like insanely small crochet hook. A little bitty skin of yarn along with my little plastic bowl. She also put in the Glide Pro Health Flossers. Two of those in there, and then a little I think she called them half tubes of beads. How insanely adorable is that? So it's a whole kit to practice beading, and this is her card. So, Gilding Lilies, and oh, there was a coupon code back there. Didn't even notice that. Tricky. So, that was all together as a little kit in our goodie bag. That was just the goodie bag. It was a very well-stocked goodie bag. Um, so what happened was I flew down there on Thursday. No, strike that. I flew down there on Wednesday. The retreat technically started on Thursday morning. So I flew down Wednesday and I got there in the evening, hopped a cab, went over to the hotel with mom and met up with some other people. And we all went out to dinner found our hotel room, just relaxed, visited. Thursday morning we walk in, we got goodie bags, we got our name badges, which FYI, if you wear a name badge out in the public, muggles will ask you things like, what are you here for? I just started telling people I was there for a show. Most people are okay with that. Tell them you're there for a conference. They're like, okay. It's hilarious when they ask what kind of show or conference are you there for and you say yarn or knitting because they can't process it. Hilarious. Maybe it's just me. Cheap thrill. But that's what happened. So we got there Thursday and we hung out and just sat in the room and knit and visited. And it rained Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. That's okay. Saturday afternoon we had an open market. So we had some local people that popped in. And I don't, I have a hard time understanding like distance wise, because to me, local could have been anywhere in the Tampa Bay area. So there was a guy talking about, he drove two hours to get there, but it was local. I, I don't, I have a hard time processing it, but it was really fun to see all these people come through and just visit. So I did take shop stuff 
and I had a booth set up. So Saturday afternoon, you know, people were coming through and shopping. One of the other fun things was we all had a goodie. We had a, all had a door prize. So she put all of our names in a bag, tossed that bag up, and then said, okay, come pick one thing off of this table. And I was the very last person picked, and I was very, very grateful because <laughs> it sound like such a dork, but there was so many things. I couldn't decide what I wanted. So much stuff. And there was actually still stuff left when I picked, but the one that I got was Knit Pearl Prey. I got this book and it's just a little devotional book. Um, but I thought it, it was, it seemed like something I would very much enjoy. So that's what I went ahead and picked up. The other thing, oh my gosh, we're at 10 minutes already. I am so sorry, people. So sorry. Cause I've only done about half of what I have to show y'all. I guess I need to stop talking to you and get busy, right? Sorry. The other thing that we did was we all were asked, do you want to do a goodie swap? And you could say no. There was no pressure. I said, of course, goodie swap. How do you go wrong with that? So everybody made things to go together. My things that I took, I'm sorry, I was so out of frame. Sorry. I went down to my local tourist center and I found postcards that say Effingham. So I went and picked up a couple of postcards because that's like we have the world's tallest cross right now. That's something Effingham's known for. Um, we have a giant Harley barn here in town. And I thought I, oh, nope, that's all I have left. There was like several other postcards, but they're all taken now. So um, I did that and then I did little daisy stitch markers. That was my my goodie swap. And personally, I feel like maybe I didn't do such a good job, to be honest, because people gave things like baby turvises, turvi. How adorable is that? And the lid pops off. Now I'm going to say that in, on air. And then look at that. So you can actually put stuff in there, like stitch markers, pills. Stitch markers was my first thought. Um, Several of the ladies made... I had three bars of soap and I got a new dishcloth. Um, the soap has all vanished already. As soon as it came home, the kids claimed a couple. They put them in the bathrooms. Soap vanished. Sam, oh my gosh, check this out. Sam had little felted bees, bumblebees. And I haven't fully decided if I'm going to put a magnet on them or if I'm going to try to like, make it into a stitch marker. But I got a bumblebee. Um, Irene gave us these awesome stitch markers. How cool are those? I know they're wiggling. I'm sorry. They're wiggling. And then this cool little box. So it's just a little bitty box and it, it snaps. I could have played with the box for hours. Let's be honest. Um, Robbie had little notepads for us. I dropped something. Oh, I dropped her card. She had a little card tucked in here. So it's just a little notepad and it's magnetic. And so it sticks all together and it just hangs out. Um, Denise went, she went way out of her way and she made everybody's name. That's backwards for y'all. I think she made everybody's name as a stitch marker and then had little English cards. How adorable is that? All right. Um, I learned about a new podcast while I was there. Amy from Knit Theory. I want to make sure I told you right because I keep trying to change her name. And she made little bags for everybody. How adorable are these bags? And I think they're reversible. I already flipped mine in and out several times. She sewed a whole bunch of these. It's like, oh my gosh. Is that not amazing? I, I was impressed because I'm not a sewer. Anybody who knows me knows I don't sew. Um, Kay and Lori, I can't remember which one. I think it was Kay, gave us artwork. Her daughter is an artist, and she had these made into cards. And there was a variety of those ones. Um, and then one of the gals gave us little shopping bags from Joann's. We all got a shopping bag. So I actually 
used my bag to put all my goodies in it as I got it. Mom, Belle's Nana, made these little packages and it's got a little notebook, a pen, a pencil, um, paper clips, and a little bit of chocolate, which I thought was a very genius idea. Um, so let's see what else have I not hit upon down here. Oh, I had a little card from Regina. Check that out. Is that not too cute? So I have my card from Regina. And then um, I got a few things. Mom made me a bag. There was a few of these there that she had made. These are just the little measuring tape up there. And then I ended up with a little notions pouch with some stitch markers attached to it. But one of the things I wanted to show you with these, these are the same size as the sock bunny kit bags. And mom found these scissors. Um, I believe she said she got them from her local LYS, her local LYS, oh, her LYS. They fit inside this bag perfectly. So it was so, I got so excited because my little bag then is even more functional. So they fit there. The stitch markers are from Snarky Llama. Make sure I tell you that right again. Yes, Snarky Llama. And the bag is from Rainstorm Studios. So the only other thing left really to show you is I did a little shopping and then I had people donate things for the podcast. Like I'm slightly shocked because I feel like a real podcaster, like a real podcaster. I have stuff to donate. I had donations and I had things to give away. It's crazy. So my purchases though, first of all, was from Blueberry Chick. Do you see that? Look at that sparkle on a pink base. She called it confetti cupcakes. Right there. She has me. Confetti cupcakes. Right there. Um, Blueberry Chick is uh, by Blueberry Chick Yarn is by Bead Sisters. So there's that one. And then I fell down a rabbit hole, actually. I can say that. I fell down a rabbit hole. Sock Bunny had this beautiful, beautiful amethyst. And she's going to be doing a knit along for her belief shawl, which I have the pattern and I've had it for like two years. And I keep saying, I want to knit that. I haven't done it yet. So this year she's doing a year long knit along for the retreat next year. I bought yarn from her and I have beads, which I have to find. I have very safely tucked them somewhere and I haven't found out where yet. I have to find those. I have beads somewhere to go with this. And then I have giveaway stuff. So the Bead Sisters gave us this beautiful bookmark. Like how cute is that? Look, and it even has, has a business card. Like it slides in. There's a little piece of plastic to hold it. Slides in there. And then they donated a skein of sport weight, 100% superwash merino, 328 yards, and this is called hydrangea. How gorgeous are those colors? So that came from the Bead Sisters, and then we got one from Sock Bunny as well. I'm telling you, rabbit holes everywhere. I was so grateful there was only five of his vendors because I got something from every single one of them. I couldn't help it. I had to. So this one is from Sock Bunny from Kimberly, and it's called Turning Over a New Leaf, and it is her paprika base. So it's BFL nylon. It's got beautiful, beautiful colors, greens and browns and not my normal colors, but it was so pretty. I just, it sung. So I, I had to claim this. Both of these are going to be podcast giveaways. I guess I need to figure out what we're going to do to give them away. If you have suggestions, go ahead and holler, leave them at the bottom. Oh my gosh, I'm at 20 minutes, people. Oh, I'm so sorry. I talked so long. Um, hopefully you enjoyed a little bit of recap, a little bit of fun. Otherwise, I'm sorry. Like I said, not a normal podcast. However, you are welcome to go check out my podcast. Check about a normal one. If you're interested in a retreat, I highly suggest you try one out. They're all different for different reasons. 
they all feel different all have a different agenda but give it a whirl they are so much fun and just a great way to make a serious friend a, a real a real friend so i will talk to y'all later i'll see you next week see ya